Good afternoon, Ray Khan here with TechOut. Today I just wanted to show you a couple features. I am running iOS 12.1 Beta 1 on my iPhone XS Max, iPhone XS Max, whatever you want to call it. Um, one of the features I wanted to show you is the eSIM. Now this is not available out of the box in iOS 12, so this is a feature that will be coming later this year to everybody, um, most likely in the iOS 12.1 update if everything goes smoothly. Um, but like I said, it is available in the beta of 12.1. So here you can see we do have T-Mobile right here. That's normally not labeled with your carrier. Um, but it is now because you would have um, this set of options for each carrier that you have um, up to two. So you, you can see here it says turn on this line. If you had two SIMs and you didn't want the line to be active, you can always turn it off. Um, Wi-Fi calling for the line. Um, all the cellular plans and information for the line and that kind of stuff. And then down here we see an option that says add cellular plan. I only have one cellular plan and I'm not going to add another one just to make a demonstration video obviously. Um, but if we tap that then you get the camera. Um, so the way you add a cellular plan is you either need that carrier's app on your phone um, that supports eSIM or you need a QR code from the carrier um, which would activate that line on your phone. So that's how you would get your SIM, your eSIM activated um, since there's no physical SIM. So this isn't supported on all carriers, um, and most carriers I don't think will be supporting it right now, even on the beta, um, because Apple hasn't officially rolled it out yet. I know there are other phones that use eSIMs, but it's not a common thing in the U.S. for phones right now, so it may be a little bit hard um, to find a carrier that supports one um, during the beta process. Um, I don't, Like I said, I don't think carriers are rolling it out until it fully comes out. Um, and I wouldn't use it as a main line anyway, because beta features tend to get added and removed as the beta progresses. Um, so if you're using an eSIM as your main phone um, and that feature gets removed, it may um, cause some issues. So that's how you would add it right there. And then everything else is the same, the cellular data and that kind of stuff. Um, and then up here on the notification center, no, sorry, not the notification center. If I pull it down right here, you can see there's a gap right here. Um, a lot of people were thinking that was a bug in iOS 12 when it was in beta. It wasn't a bug. That is so they can put another signal bar and carrier name right here. Um, so if you had two carriers, it would show two names right here on top of each other. Um, so that's what that's for. Like I said, eSIM on 12.1, beta 1 on the iPhone XS. This has been Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you have any questions or if you happen to get this feature working on yours um, before it's released. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments section below if you find a carrier that supports it. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.